So cataract surgery has evolved so far with the technology that we're able to do new and exciting things to help patients through the process. And one of the main things that we're doing at the end of the cataract surgery is we're putting medication into and on the eye so that patients don't need eye drops afterwards. We use Trimoxy to put in the eye of the patients because two large studies of hundreds of thousands of patients showed that if you compare patients that take drops versus patients that take Trimoxy or injectable antibiotic in the eye, the rates of infection go down sevenfold. An infection in the eye, if it were to happen, can be vision threatening. So when we saw the results of that study, we thought it was a no-brainer to use Trimoxy in the eye. It has the added benefit of convenience. The patient does not have to buy two or three drops and that they would otherwise have to take three or four times a day for a full month. Uh, instead, the medicine's in the eye, protects you better, and you don't have to take drops. And at the very end of the case, we inject it through the white of the eye, usually up below the upper eyelid, uh, not through the eyelid, just in that area. So the air injection site is covered by your eyelid afterwards. And the medicine goes into the vitreous or the back of the eye. And that medicine will cover the back of the eye and the front of the eye from inflammation. That's what the steroid uh, protects from. And the antibiotic protects against infection. You're going to see the medicine. Literally, you're going to see it. And you're gonna see it in your vision and you're gonna see it on the surface of your eye. So it, I describe it like a lava lamp. The medication is a little milky, cloudy, and when it's inside of the eye, it's literally floating around in the back of the eye. And so patients will see all kinds of visual uh, effects from it, um, from cloudiness to uh, a floating sensation of material. Um, and it can have various shapes and sizes. Sometimes it's in the periphery, sometimes it's in the central vision. Um, and just be reassured that this is normal and it will slowly dissipate over the first few days to a week, sometimes a little longer. Um, but just rest assured that this is really good, healthy material that's keeping your eyes safe and quiet. Another thing you may notice with Trimoxy injection is a little redness or bright red blood actually around the injection site. Most patients, it's so minimal they don't notice, but a significant percentage, you might see a small bright red patch uh, just under the eyelid uh, that will disperse and absorb uh, over the course of a week or sometimes longer. Uh, sometimes it takes a month if there's a significant amount of blood. So some patients have a significant amount of bright red blood around the eye. It just depends if there's a blood vessel underneath the area that we're injecting. We avoid any vessels we can see, but sometimes there's one underneath and so don't be alarmed if there is a, a big bright red spot, but for most patients there's not a spot or it's very minimal. In addition to the bright red blood, sometimes right next to that, patients will see a slightly elevated off-white plaque looking object, and all that is is the deposit of this medicine. Uh, that will fade and go away completely uh, in the course of about a month. So the beauty of doing just one eye at a time with cataract surgery, is that you're still functional because you have your unoperated eye to get around and do things while the operated eye is a little blurry a little cloudy and the medicine is floating around in the vision but you really don't have any restrictions per se you can still go about your normal routine uh, the only restriction i stress is i don't want people swimming for a week and that's just bacteria and bugs that they can get into but really there's no other restrictions. As a patient, if you decide that this uh, medicine inside of the eye is not for you, we can go back to the old standard guard, which is eye drops that you use over several weeks. And there is absolutely no problem in doing that. It's just the burden of that is on the patient. And uh, you'll have to be responsible for getting those drops, although we we obviously provide the prescription to do that. Um, the only other uh, reason somebody would do that is if you have an allergy to the medication itself, 
then we're gonna switch gears and go to eye drops, obviously to prevent an allergic reaction.